Hey everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to my film and TV channel. I hope you enjoy what I've got for you today and please check out uh, as you're watching this uh, little links on screen as well for different things for my uh, Facebook and Twitter and of course my uh, football channel as well. And uh, please, all your comments are very welcome. Just let us know and push that subscribe button. Don't forget, please push the subscribe button. Make sure your notification is set to public as well if you want to know when uh, these vlogs are coming out. Push that notification button as well. So anyway, please, please enjoy. Right, we're going to have a look at uh, a film that I watched on Amazon as I'm recording this. But obviously, depending when you read this, you may find that on other streaming sites, etc. So part of the... The uh, free Amazon, if you like. I don't. I, I subscribe to Amazon, but I, I will be honest with you. I don't uh, pay any extra for anything else. I just subscribe for the free content and the TV series that are free on there. And it's a film uh, called Infinite. Yeah, 106 minutes, a science fiction action film. This is directed by Antoine Fou... I don't know how you pronounce this. F-U-Q-U-A, Fuqua. Fuqua. Ian Shaw wrote the screenplay based on a, a story uh, by Todd Steen, who in turn uh, adapted Dr. D, sorry, Dr. Let me give him a credit there. Uh, D. Eric McCranzi's 2009 novel, The Reincarnationalist Papers. Well, there's a title for a book. There, there's a title that he went to the bookstore. Can you have that, please? He knows what he's doing there to try and sell that one. Yeah, the film stars, well, in the lead, Mark Wahlberg. You've got other stars like Chiwetel Ejiofor, Sophie Cookson, Jason Mantzoukas, Rupert Friend, Toby Jones and Dylan O'Brien. So not a bad selection of stars. Yeah, it was sort of... It, yeah, for, for obviously I said I watched on Amazon, a little bit of hype about it, a little bit of promotion as you expect them to do. So I was I was optimistic for this. So all these little scores and reviews, etc. is at uh, the 6th of October at 7pm. So please, uh, depending when you watch that, please allow for that. This is when this was done. Rotten Tomatoes wasn't overly impressed. It's only getting an average of 4.1 out of 10, which... Is low even for Rotten Tomatoes. I think they become softer over the years. I don't. I think they used to be far more destructive when they first started off. But I think they've. Te I think they've been tempered over the years. Then again, I've had, I've had copyright claims against the fact that I've given a certain film by a certain film company a, 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 a sort of not a bad review, but you know a sort of average review. So I mean, hey, Rotten Tomatoes probably have had to sort of watch what they're doing. I'm not too sure. As I say, I don't. The ins and outs of it. Well, there you go. Their average rating of 4.1 out of 10 is quite low these days. You don't often get some of these, it's not a big budget film, but bigger, bigger promoted films getting them sort of scores. And just 12 fresh and 65 rotten. So that's 77 reviewers. It's not a lot, is it? 12 fresh, 65 rotten. The consensus of the site, an initially intriguing sci-fi thriller that quickly veers into incoherence. Uh, infinite is an inane as it is inconsequential. There you go. That's similar to the name of the title of the book, wasn't it? Uh, one of the rottens was Benjamin Lee of The Guardian. He said, it's the worst kind of soulless committee-made products, lazy and risk-free, that need never and will never be thought of again. Infinite, not even close. The audience, yeah, they're overly not impressed. It's not a total disaster with the audience. It's 2.6 out of 5. So that equates, obviously, to 5.2 out of 10 for the Rotten Tomatoes audience. So not a total disaster. A little bit better than Rotten Tomatoes. Or not, uh, the critics, but not too much, of course. And over to Metacritic. How, what do they think? What, what do they think about this? Well, there's uh, 27 critics bothered to leave the review for this one. And it's just getting <laughs> uh, pathetic, uh, let's be honest about it. Even, uh, again, Metacritic is usually slightly, slightly kinder to films. Uh, 28 out of 100. Uh, and the, the 27 critics score it anywhere between as low as 20 out of 100 and 50. So 50 is the highest, so five is the highest. So again, that's uh, probably in line with what we've seen uh, with the Rotten Tomato critics and audience, isn't it? Not not far different. Uh, Chicago sometimes is Richard Rupert was one of the... Uh, higher scores he said infinite has some impressive set pieces combining practical effects and cgi and the terrific cast approaches material with grim face sincerity but it's ultimately a big bag of nonsense wrapped in glossy packaging <laughs> yeah uh, i can't totally disagree with that internet movie database yeah it's getting from joe public again a slightly better uh not quite but nearly 5.5 out of 10 so it's edging up isn't it towards the watchable so again a lot of people 
checking the reviews. I mean, of that uh, of those people, I mean, there's seventeen thousand seven hundred twenty eight. Give it a six, six or more out of ten, and there's thirteen thousand three hundred ninety two. You only give it anywhere between one and five out of ten. So the, you know the, the guys who liked it were in slightly in the majority there on Internet Movie Database, which is fair enough. So there you go. There, there. so that's the public. That's Joe Public. So perhaps it is a little bit better than perhaps the critics are thinking. Uh, my little thoughts. Again, don't forget, I've watched this and I say it time and time again when I do these Netflix and Amazon stuff uh, and other, other sort of subscription site ones. That, uh, because I subscribe anyway, I sort of have a, I sort of tend to have a, a kinder, slightly kinder view of these things because I'm not having to go to a cinema and pay money for it. But if I've been to a cinema and paid money for this, I would have, I would have sort of admired the glitz, but perhaps not, not, not what's deep inside of this thing. Uh, I'm a good. I prefer a good story with with odd action sequences, unless it's something, unless it's something like Star Wars or something, which is a good story and good action sequences. But uh, I don't mind if it's a good story and the odd action sequence and effects, special effects, gl glitziness thrown in, if you like, to to move a story along. But uh, and I certainly don't mind Wahlberg. I like I like Wahlberg. I, I don't. I think he is who he is. He plays the same sort of character in most of his stuff. I won't say he's the world's greatest actor, but. Uh, yeah, this was a bit, despite the presence of him and other good actors as well, all a little bit uninspiring. It started off okay. You thought, oh, this looks okay, this. And as it does on the it does on the blurb, I suppose, if you watch a trailer, which I haven't, it'll, it'll do the same. Uh, there's a few bob being spent on it. There's no doubt about that. I mean, it's going to cost them a few quid to get, employ these actors. But uh, it did have the feel of what, what they make, um, what you see from a good family adventure, where it's a very routine thing, a bit, a bit of glitz and a bit of glamour to it, just a bit of action. It did have that feel to it, but obviously it wasn't aimed at kids. This is aimed, at, obviously, at a, a, an older audience, a grown-up audience. So, But it did, it did have that sort of, uh, yeah, just uh, just feel of an afternoon romp, uh, family family film, you know, young adventure romp sort of thing. Yeah, it had that, despite the, the older actors and obviously... Uh, the sort of standard and quality of the of the, the movie itself. Um, there's lots of stuff. Obviously, there will be different movies. I mean, a hint of Matrix. There was Highlander. A bit hint of Highlander in this. Equilibrium even was in this. And you could you could probably mention plenty more as you're going through. And I just think it tries too hard to be honest. In the same same way that some some big blockbusters do. Sometimes it tries too hard, and obviously it's not a big blockbuster, of course, but it's, it is glitzy. It is glitzy, and it, it certainly uh, doesn't doesn't try to tell a fantastic... The story's there, but obviously it just is a very, if you like, uh, a story that could probably be done in half an hour, so it's to spread it out to over an hour and a half. It's, it's struggling just a little bit. And once watched with me, and anyway, personally, it sort of fades very quickly from memory once I've watched it, and I, it's the sort of thing I wouldn't particularly say to someone, oh, watch this, and I'll watch it with you. I, I just don't think I'll ever see this again. And there's a lot of films I do watch more than once. I think if you'd paid at the cinema, uh, you might feel slightly shortchanged, although there was a lot of glitz and glamour and, and action to make you think it was okay as a big big screen thing, but uh, I think I would have been dis disappointed. And it was all dressed up as a bit of a blockbuster, but hey, so what? I mean, it, it is what it is. It's, it's, say it's a streaming movie, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, it didn't, didn't quite work, even though they did try. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna be a total down. I think some of those scores, uh, certainly from the lower lower range, uh, five is the highest, isn't it? I will give it a five point five out of ten, which is my sort of splinters on the bum one. Where it was okay. Some people will get something out of this. Uh, as I said, uh, it has. I think a younger audience, even though it's not supposed to be for a younger audience, like a teeny audience might might enjoy this perhaps more than than older. What uh, you know, anyone in the in the uh, late twenties, uh, thirties, upwards, you know, to my old age, but uh, so I think there is something in it. But it, it was uh, uh, for for a streaming for a streaming film, it was okay. But obviously, I, I hope for a little bit more can, when you consider the talent of the acting talent that was in it as well. Which uh, and certainly, as I said, there was money spent on it. There's some good good CGI, etc., etc. But uh, So I will give it a 5.5 out of 10, which is not, as you know, is okay. It's not a total disaster, but uh, 
I did get a little something out, of bits of it, but uh, yeah, it's not something I'll go back and watch. Let me know anyway what you think about this. As I say, it's uh, there are some people who, who obviously are giving it 10 out of 10, as you always get with these sort of things, but there's a lot of people who like it. And uh, I, tell you, I think that Internet Movie Database rating is probably uh, near as damn it spot on or so, but I'll be a bit bit kinder with it anyway, 5.5 out of 10. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do this day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. Till we meet here again on the film and TV channel, or you have a look, you're having a look at my other channel, my Citizen channel, where I look at uh, my football team, Manchester City. Whatever it is, please, all I ask is stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.